Hey, what's going on, everybody? What what is this? It's it's a funky layout. I know. Um. So you know the randomizer's been a fun craze lately, and I've had a lot of fun with it for a while. But I figured I'd want to try the um what you call it, the entrance randomizer. So the map I have in the bottom left. Uh, you can see like the blue flashing light maybe, but. That map is for me to try to link up where things go, because I could say go to... Uh, oh, wait, let me reset it. <laughs> reset. There we go. That was from my last attempt. Um, But yeah, I, I could like enter my house and end up in Ganon's tower or some shit. So I wanted to play around with that, and I got the item tracker up so you can view and keep track of things with me. And then, yeah. So I tried to make it all fit look as pretty as I could without making things too crazy. I think that works out decently. So let's start this. Let's get it going. <coughs> so I, I have very little experience with the entrance tracker uh, I have toad apparently for my thing so I'm in my house what do I get first nothing worthwhile but I can at least take that mark off <laughs> so yeah, if you're not familiar with the randomizer you can start in open mode where you don't have to go rescue anyone and the game is available to you but it randomizes all items, all dungeon locations, everything else. So we got a 5 crystal there. A 6 crystal there. So those are easy to get then, assuming I get what I need to get in there. Which is kind of nice. Alright. So assuming I can get in to kill those things, they'll be kind of nice. Alright, these guys just won't leave me alone. Uh, you giving me nothing, yay. So yeah, normally this would lead down to the dungeon escape, but it leads to this cave. Um... I kind of remember this case. Isn't this the extra exit of Death Mountain? No, this is that cave. Okay. So, yeah. That's where that goes to. So, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and save and quit. Load up at the sanctuary. Because that's another item I can get real quick. Uh, which I get. Ooh, the fire rod! So, at least I have something. Um, and that gave me the sanctuary. But that's where the sanctuary is located. So, Lumberjack Cave Door is the Sanctuary. And this house goes to... The Blacksmiths! So, I don't know if you're noticing, like, the blue squares popping up or on the map, like, near, uh... But yeah, I'm able to link them, and then that way I can, like, mouse over and, like, say I need to go to the blacksmith. And it highlights the square up top. So I can remember that that's where that is. Because I really don't want to try and do this all on my own memory. Because, goddamn, that's just, that, that just seems painful. This, this is going to be a shit show enough, just because I'm tired. and So, a fairy fountain up here. Uh, I can just mark that off. I'm not worried about linking it to whatever fairy fountain that is. 
Rupees, red rupees, not terrible. Would rather bombs or something, but get off me, bird. All right, where does this go? This takes me to. <laughs> All right. This takes me to Skull Woods. Um, I think. I think it's that one. So yeah, that's because that's where I want to be. Is Skull Woods right now? I don't even have a sword, like. Whoops. I don't know why I picked that up. I thought there was something under it, maybe. I'm hoping for magic and or hearts. There we go. Alright. So, hey, I got a piece from Skull Woods, so I can knock that off. Which gave me... Whoops. I was dealing with my tracker. Got a map. Yay. Where's the key at? I thought there was a key in there. Alright, so there's no key there. I'm missing a key. I don't know where it's at. Maybe you get it somewhere else in the dungeon normally. I forget. As much as I've been playing this, I tend to forget layouts a lot, like... No, moving hand! So there's a key. We can leave up here. <coughs> Now, if I make it to the boss, there's no way in hell I'm gonna even attempt to fight him. There's a key. Now I'm back here. I don't want to go through that door, though. I don't necessarily need a key. <laughs> so, the front entrance of... Twin Cave right is the front entrance of Skull Woods. Because that makes sense. Um. Alright, so that's worthless. Whatever that minigame is that doesn't give you anything. So yeah, I have no weapon, I have no magic, and I'm up here on Death Mountain. Where does this go? Alright, so this goes to Palace of Darkness. So now that I need to go to Palace of Darkness, I gotta go to this little blue dot. I, I wish you could see my mouse pointer, but... Um, I can maybe do a little here, maybe get an item or two, I don't know. My understanding is the current, like, logic of the randomizer that does this favors items and dungeons over the overworld and a lot of just like the non required dungeon items are in the overworld you know heart containers and the like but a lot of progression style stuff weapons items that actually are needed to go places are in <coughs> need them bombs at least the dungeons are not like super crazy cuz that would be real bad <laughs> although I had a dream 
about the randomizer. Oh, I don't have a key. Boo. I thought I had the key. This is normally the key, I think, but it's not the key this time. It's a red rupee, which means I can take one off of this, though. Um, I can't go through that teleporter. I don't have the bow yet, which is needed to get through there. So yeah, this this is gonna be interesting. Ow! No shield, no key, no weapon. Like I have bombs. Oh, there's a key. Uh, the question is, do I go? Yeah, I'm gonna go get that up there. I think. Cause going up to the top left is the chest area. Ah, I'll go that way. Like, I can't even do anything to try to fight this guy. It's just kind of like, oh, okay. At least I got bombs now. So there's a compass. I don't have the thing, the light, but I'm pretty sure I can do this room. There's a key. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I'm stuck on something. <laughs> I might have to save and quit. Oh god. Oh hey! I got something. Oh, uh, was it the dungeon map? That's weird that it wasn't lit up. Alright, so, we got out of there. I got a key and a dungeon map. Come down here, what do I get? Another key? Yeah, another key. So now... Trying to think where I should be going and where I can go. Ooh, get away from me. I can go through this original thing, I think, now, which will give me that chest. Which is possibly another key. But I think. No, I think there's still another chest I can get to without um, a key. I just need the bow. If I remember correctly. Uh, oh, it's another key. Look at that. Alright. So I think I'm done here until I get the bow. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because you got to have the bow and arrow to get through the next room with the mimic guys. And if I'm correct, that leads you to the right. Actually, I can still maybe get an item or two. We'll see what I can do. <coughs> I need magic, though. I don't have magic. I have no way to fire my wand, which means I can't hit. Oh, I got bombs. I guess I could do bombs. It's just going to be annoying. I don't know if I can throw one from here and make it. That didn't work. Yeah. If I die, I'm probably not going to come back in the end. At first, I'll just keep going.
God damn it. Wasn't close enough. There we go. So now I can get over here. And I can go up. See, so there's a chest down there, and that's where you get from that other room, I think, if I remember correctly. I think I can still go up and possibly get through. Although, if it comes to more dark rooms, I'm probably just going to bail as well. Oh, wait, no, I'm stuck here too because I don't have arrows. Alright, so that's enough for that. <laughs> Let's start back at the sanctuary. And... Go over to, say... Kakariko Village. Actually, no. I didn't even get the... No There's an item in the forest still, as well as the other door. Which probably doesn't take me to Skull Woods. <laughs> Oops, I killed him. So what is this item? Worthless. It's an arrow. So that item has been claimed. What's in this door? Oh, this takes... This is uh, the Kakariko drop. So this goes to there. It's completely worthless for me because I just need to exit here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! The fuck's going on here? Oh my god. It's my dream! No, okay, they always go the same way. Oh, no! It is! I didn't know this was a thing! Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking hell! So, I, I think I mentioned I had a slight dream about the randomizer and it being stupid crazy. This was a stupid crazy. Each door goes... has two ways, and it's a one-way door. So, exiting this door takes you to one place, but if you were to enter that same door, it takes you somewhere else. And I'm in the first palace. What the fuck? Well then. Probably should have got that ledge item while I was there, if I remember. This, this is... I don't know if I want to be able to complete this. <laughs> this is too much for me. Holy shit. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a loss about this development. I didn't realize this is what it was. Oh my god. Alright, so one item claimed. Worthless, but... Well, not worthless, just... Not anything I really want. Yeah, I, I would kill to have, and I actually, yeah, I need to change that. I don't have a sword. It starts you automatically with a sword on that tracker, but it's like, that that's not correct. Alright, I don't know the exact pattern to get these to spawn, how they do. I know you can only get like two of them to spawn, but I don't know the movement to do that. Oh joy! Did I get the big key? I did not. So, dark room! Yay! 
At least this dark room I know I can do. After having to do it a few times. <laughs> I might end up dying just from the health, though. I usually have a weapon or a boomerang or something to help out with. There we go. That wasn't too bad. <clears throat> now here... I think... I think I'm gonna do the safe route. Like, actually try to kill these. I say that as I only have four bombs. You know what? Let's see if I can do this. Yay! I didn't die and I did it. Half the time I try that I die even when I have like eight hearts. <laughs> Alright, so what are you gonna be? Arrows! Worthless! All the dungeon items have been completed. Um... I don't have any use here except to kill the boss. I can't kill the boss. Oh, this is turning out crazier than I thought. I don't even remember what those links were because I didn't put them down because I, I was too flabbergasted at what was going on. So if I go in here, it takes me to my house. Okay. They probably said, you know what, let's not change that. Yeah, th this is interesting to try, but I'm probably going to stick to, like, just normal, or if I want to get hairy again, maybe try Key Sanity. Alright, so this goes into the chicken house. So... Oh, yeah. Uh, I have bombs. I don't think that's marked on this one, but... Alright, so you go to chicken house but where does it come out now like if this comes out a different area no it came out of the same area okay I don't I don't know what happened earlier maybe I'm going crazy that's very possible let's go check out what mini moldorm cave is going to be Mini Moldorn Cave goes to Fortune Teller. So it's worthless. Alright, um. Let's go over this way now. I'll do the Ice Cave later, hopefully, once I get the Power Glove. Where do you go? You go to a shop. Oops. Um, I don't need any more. Well, I do. Like, I'm a lo not super low, but I only had four. I want more, since I have no actual weapon. Alright, um... I mean, I'm here. It's right here. I'm just gonna go check this one cave at the moment <laughs> so it goes to another shop I don't know what shop it is but it's a shop so whatever I'm putting it as a shop killing it all right so now I'm going to try and head into the actual Kakariko town proper and see what all those doors go to.
Well, uh, you know. I just wish I could find some magic, too. Like, I don't know of any consistent magic refills. Alright, where do you go? You take me to a fairy cave, you're worthless. I mean, yeah, I could have healed, but... Alright, where do you go? Ganon's Tower! <laughs> what? The shit? What? I... It's just... I better... I better... Well, I'm in Ganon's Tower. I don't have a single crystal. Um, there's a shield there. Okay. I don't really expect or plan to do much of anything here. I'm just looking in these first two rooms. Because if I'm correct, there's like two treasure chests in this room right here. Which means, yeah, I, p possible items. A heart piece. And a key. Okay. Well, I got a heart piece. Yeah. Just... Oh my god, this is so crazy. Because I'm in Ganon's Tower. Now this is going to take me somewhere else though, if I am if I understand this right. The dungeon entrances can take you other places. So I would leave Ganon's Tower and I come out here. But I go in here and I'm not going to go to Ganon's Tower. I go to the Thieves' Cave where you drop, which has the golden arrow or arrow capacity. If I leave here, I'm going to be in the same spot, right? I should be. No. Now I'm in... Pa okay. I really don't know what's going on. Like, I don't understand how this works. Oh. Whoops. At least this is not terribly hard to get. Um... Yeah, I, I need to reread how the tracker works for this mode because I don't know if I understand how it works. Like, I'm, I'm st I think I'm starting to piece that. Oh my god, if that's how it works, it's gonna be so bad. I, I, I. Th think so so my, my hypothesis on how this is working is everything that's considered a dungeon entrance which is any of the diamonds on the uh, map I have go to a random place every time you enter it another diamond and it's not always the same so like I think I could possibly go enter those things again and I will not be in the same place I was I think that's how this is working. One item off a of blind. And if that's how this is working, goddamn, is this going to be a shit show? And a half. Another item off a of blind. Um. Let's see here. I got the big key. I don't have the hammer, so I can't get the big item chest. Oh, hey, I'm a little one up. Because I got. Uh, terraformed into Dark World Moon Pearl lacking thingy. Did it bug out? Because, like, I haven't fixed myself. Like, this is a very long lasting, um. Yeah, I think it bugged. Interesting. I guess I gotta save it. Or, well, I can die, but is it worth it? Trying to think. There's one more item I can easily... No, I can't... E well, I can get it. I just can't easily get it. It's it's not worth it. Alright, so let, let's test this. So I just went in the race house, right? So let me go back to that race house and enter it and see where it goes. 
So this is the test of my hypothesis that it's going to take me somewhere random every time I go into there. Which also means every time I exit, it's going to be random. In which case, holy shit, what have I got myself into? So like this is always going to be the same thing that it was. It's it's a square on the map. It's always going to be that fairy cave. So the squares are the safe items, but anything that's a diamond, which this one is on the map, it, you know, you can see it here. I have it highlighted. Um if I enter this, it's not this is not going to take me where it did. It's going to take me somewhere else. Well, it took me to Gans Tower. Okay. But leaving Guinness... Okay, so they are the same. They're just not... Oh my god. I don't even know how to keep track of all this. Because leaving Ganon's Tower goes into somewhere else. But entering Ganon's Tower is going to go to somewhere else. I don't think this tracker was made for this. <laughs> I think it was just made for the normal... Okay, so they're all the same. So this is Blind's Hideout. So what's this? This is a fairy thingy. And then I'm back here again. What the fuck? So, I... Well, that doesn't make sense. That's a square item. Like, does this all go to the same place? Yes, it does. Okay. And then this comes out here. God. <laughs> this goes in here. What comes out of here? Where does this go? This takes me over... Okay. And now I'm in Skull Woods again. Now I'm back over here. And then this goes to that game. So certain things are always the same, but others aren't. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to fumble my way through for a little bit. I might end up, I might just do like a key sanity. I'm in bumper cave. All right. Might swap the key sanity. Might be a little easier, insane. On, and I'm here. And. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, this is hurting me, like, it's hurting my head. <laughs> I gave Mickey. Gave me another key. I almost killed myself. kill this guy. That's gonna be fun. That didn't hit him up there. So I have a key, but I'm gonna have to go in here and I'm gonna have to kill this guy again, but there's a treasure in here, which is why I'm going to make a point to do this. Alright, so I killed those guys with bombs a lot better than I thought I would. <laughs> Alright, so now I'll get the Zelda item. And then 
I don't know if I want to try to brave the es the dark room escape. Being completely dark, it is not something I feel I am well versed in or that good at. Die. I say die. Uh, the map, or as people tend to call it, the burrito. So, yeah. Because there's a snake that drops a... Or not a snake, but a rat that drops a key. I still have no magic. Um... Yeah, I, I I have no clue how to keep track of this because this is this is some bullshit. Like once I get like a sword or something, this might not be <coughs> excuse me as terrible because I can actually like fight and kill things. But until that happens, this is pretty fucking terrible. That toad running animation. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know how to track this because I, now I'm over here in Eastern Palace. So, let's go see what Sarahashalavalava's hut goes to. Because that should come back out right here. If my understanding of this is correct, this will come back out here. This goes to a fairy cave, but it comes back out here. All right. So, Sarahashalavra's hut is done. And it goes to a fairy cave, so. So now, I'll see where. I'll see where Eastern Palace goes to. Because that's going to be a more shit show taking me somewhere random where I can't do anything. And this guy's going to. Oh, I thought he was going to try to say, hey, I'm blocking your stairs. <laughs> Um, okay, so this takes me to Bumper Cave with a worthless item. Or not Bumper Cave, uh, Spectacle Rock or whatever. So Palace of Darkness goes to Spectacle Rock. But I'm going to leave here and I'm not going to end up back in Palace or Eastern Palace. Like, that's the thing. I'm not going to end up back in Eastern Palace. I'm going to end up here. <laughs> so I go in here. And I end up in some other cave I don't actually recognize. Um, is this the Dark World part of Death Mountain? Oh, this is the other side of Bumper Cave. So that goes to Bumper Cave. Oh, God. But now I'm going to leave here and I'm not going to be in the same place again. Because it's a diamond. And it takes me to here. So I can go get this item at least. And it's rupees. So where does this go into now? I want to say I've been in... Okay, this takes me to Agana's Tower. Agan... Agan... Agahim's Tower. Agahim's Tower. I am not equipped to do that at all, but leaving Aghanim's Tower goes... Oh, into Aghanim's Tower. How about that? Now, where does this go? A dungeon cave with no lamp, so I don't know. Possibly Old Man's Cave. Now I'm at Tower of Hera. And Tower of Hera goes... to... Not quite where I want to be, but... Oh, wait, no. This is items. And magic. Yay. I got a hammer. I got a weapon. Oh, my God. I got a weapon. I got a weapon. 
So now I can actually kill things. Hooray! I can actually go finish the blind dungeon now as well if I really wanted to. I kind of don't where I want to right now, but now where am I? Where am I going to be? I'm back over here, and this leads me to Ganon's Tower. Let's go see what the race item is, so that way if I know if I come out here, if I need to get it or not. It is bomb capacity upgrades. I don't really need that, so I'm going to mark it done. Alright, now let's stop with the craziness. Oh my god. Like, I kind of want to laugh, I kind of want to cry, I kind of want to stop, and I kind of want to keep playing. So, you're a useless fortune teller. Like, this, this is just painful. But yet, there's just something about it where I'm just like, this is fun and awesome and I want to keep going. Let's check back here first. Where does this go? Alright, I think this might always go here just because they don't have any other doors that enter like that in the game. You know, there's no other back entrances to buildings. So, front entrance of this building goes to where? Another mini game that you don't get items from, so it's worthless. Oh yeah, that's the that's the one in the forest. Which is also kind of funny because now uh what the Oh yeah, cuz I marked it. Whatever. Yeah, when you come out of the things, it plays the. It, that's how it decides what music to play. Ooh. All right, got the book. Um, and that in the shop that went to the fairy cavern. So, if you remember the Waterfall Fairy, the Wishing Pond, it just put two random items in. So you don't, because you don't always have the items to throw in for the upgrades that you could normally get. Same thing with the Great Fairy and the Pyramid. Um, so you, where do you go? You go to the Sea House. Because it's shaped like a C. And I get more rupees. Alright. So now, now that I'm understanding this a little more, the logic, it's not as terrible as it was. But it's still just like, oh my god, the fact I can't mark where everything goes. Uh, that's tavern front entrance. So that's nothing to worry about. Sick boy with bottle goes to Sarahashlora in the dark world, which is worthless. Um, or yeah, the monkey hut I think is called. Where does overgrown house go to? Um. Oh, this is Agana's cave. Yeah. So, that goes to that. And whatever it is, I will claim it. More rupees! And folks, this is not hard mode, this is normal. Like I said, they want to put all the items in the dungeons. Which means you don't get a whole lot from exploring the overworld. But since I can't even go to specific dungeons easily, I kind of have to. And hope I get something. Alright, let's see where these go. So this cave goes to... Old Man Cave. Which is weird, considering... Okay. Hopefully it comes out here because I'll be pissed if it doesn't. God damn it! Alright, 
Let's go back there. I want to see where the thing goes. So blacksmiths go to this cave. Um, and I'm gonna come out somewhere random else, aren't I? Oh no, came out the same place. All right, but whatever. What's in here? Um, fairy into. I've done well. Let's have a cup of tea. Don't mind if I do. But my tea's Mountain Dew. <sighs> and this went nowhere near the village. Yeah. I'm trying to clear out most of these unknown squares that shouldn't change all that much. Die. Like I'm trying to all find all the squares and other easy items on the map so I can get something maybe. Cause yeah, as, like I said, as I've understood, if it's a square, it should come out in that same area. So I just go in them all and see where they are and find them and then come back out and more tea. So you're a fairy hut. Alright, so... Now, I'm avoiding this particular double door house because that's diamonds, which means it will not go to the same place. At least for now. Um, hey! I don't recall what that is, but whatever, I got that item. I don't recall where that other cave is at the moment. So what's over here? Oh, that's actually not bad. I can go get that other item now. Oh, I got a bottle! So you go to there. Um, and I believe it's fix it's set up where once you pull this, it will remain pulled until maybe you save and quit, or possibly even power off. Which helps with getting the Dark Worlds... Or actually, the Dark Worlds just always flooded. Like, it doesn't even have that mechanic. But that lets you get the Light World item that is buried underneath the water. So I'll probably head down there to grab that in a second, since I've found that. Oh, I get that medallion from the bottle vendor. Bombos? I think it's Bombos. So, I get a piece of heart from whatever place this was. Again, I don't recall or recognize the exact cave. I'm too tired. Alright, so where does this cave go? This goes to Misery Mire, which means I'm not coming out here again. Because, yeah, that's a diamond and they have it marked as a square. And I come out here. What the fuck? Where's this other one go? Tower of Hera. Hmm. I don't... I might be able to get through this? Might be worth doing. Um, so, okay. I mean, I know I didn't really need to collect it, but I was. It, it, I just. I was like, I'm here, I'm gonna do it. So that's one there. I can't go down? Oh, wait, no. So this is either a key or a big key. 
big key. God damn it. I mean, I know I don't have to kill it, but it's just... Think, yeah, I want to kill things. I can't have been unable to kill things for so long. Compass, so big key. So there's burrito left, a key left, an item left, and yeah. So let's see what the big chest has. Since so I have the key, this will be an easy pickup. An item, which means I don't need anything else here outside of killing the boss. So let's go do that real quick. I've actually had to kill Moldorm like multiple times over the past few days with just the hammer. So this should hopefully not be too bad. And that'll actually mark this palace as done complete. Which will be nice. Alright. Uno, dos, and whoops, Tracy did. Alright, so Moldorm has been killed. It gives me a key, but that's going to go to the basement, which I use the fire to do the torches to get a chest, and it's going to give me the burrito. <laughs> and I don't need a burrito. So, that's fine. Um, I don't even remember where I entered this from. Was it... I'm back out here. That was over... That was the Hyrule Castle right, wasn't it? So I'm done with that. That's cool. So now... Where does this go? I like how it brought me back there, though. Oh, hey! Fall to escape. Three free items. Um... Hopefully actual items because that would be cool uh, rupees bug catchers net and a heart piece just got the bug catchers net I got that I got that so that was actually kind of nice bug catchers net is useful especially now that I have a bottle I need to remember to put my hammer back so I can fight So this is going to take me to Sanctuary still. So I'm going to come out on the Sanctuary area, of course. Um, I might go check what the pedestal is, just since I'm here. Especially how crazy this seat is. I don't want to be missing that as I'm running around everywhere else. I'll, need, I'll know if I need to get it or not. Screw you, Arrow. So, yeah, I don't have the pendants or the sword or whatever, so I can't actually get this item, but with the book, I can read it, and it'll tell me what's there. Increase Arrow storage. So, Arrow capacity upgrade. I do not need that. So, I can mark that off and not worry about it. Now, where am I going? I guess... 
I'm gonna go to the right. And I'll see about the sanctuary itself, the actual physical location of it. Check what that is, as well as further. Excuse me. I had to boip. So I boiped. Also, one thing if you're not truly familiar with, if you don't have a sword, you cannot use these. That is one thing I learned playing these randomizers. I didn't know that, but yeah, that's a thing. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to the right. I'm going to go check this uh, up here. See what's here. Where does this go? This should be a safe location. But this map isn't fully updated. It's not. Okay. So that goes there, which means I'm going to come out somewhere completely random. I come out there. Where does this go? Hey, Swamp Palace. I don't have flippers, so I cannot do this. But that's important to mark. And then I leave Swamp Palace, and I go here. I enter here, and I go here. So I exit here, and I go um, back over here. Okay. My head hurts. Does your head hurt? My head hurts. This is this has been painful. Like, I'm not going to remember any of that. So it's just like, I don't know how to get to those places again. So I'm just going to be going random places and things until I can complete all the dungeons and get what I need and get to Ganon's Tower and beat it. This takes me to a dark room. I can't do anything in there. And now I'm at Spectacle Rock. There's a sword, but I don't have a mirror. Oh. Didn't I jump? Didn't I come from here at one point? Or was the other one? This goes to there. So Spectacle Rock exit goes to there. Leaving here. I come out there. What the fuck? But going in there, that was, uh, what you call it? That was Tower of Hera, wasn't it? Yes. Leaving Tower of Hera, I come out over here. <sighs> I don't like this anymore. Alright, um... I don't know where I need to go at all. I'm gonna head over to the east. I guess I'm gonna head over to maybe Ice Rod Cave. Because there's two places, well, there's four places I can get to by going in that direction. Now, of course, if they're all safe or not, I don't know. This map I'm using seems like it had a nice thing from it, but it wasn't completely updated to what the randomizer had, so yeah. Whoop. Bee whoop. So I can go down here, and there's two spots. Ooh, great fairy cave. Uh, that gives me another bottle. So that's useful. Oh, I didn't mark the bottles. Um, so that went to Fat Fairy. And is complete. Um, you where does this go? This was a shop where it used to be. And it goes to a shop. It goes to itself. I don't know. It goes to a shop. I don't know. I don't care. 
Uh, do I want to buy this shield? Why not? I haven't enough money. Just because I don't have one. Um, how many bottles? I have a bee and a fairy. Okay, I'm good. I don't need potions. Alright, uh... So I'm gonna go down. I'll do the ice cave. And then I might do fake flippers to get... Hobo. I don't want to equip that. I don't want to accidentally loose my fairy. Little toad with a shield. Whoops. Bang, pick a bang, bang, pick a bang. That could also, I, if I do fake filters, I could also end up going to Zora. Which can get me at least Zora's item. I can't get the ledge item. Oh my god! Those things hurt. Oh yeah, I had a fairy. Ha, he's a little mushroom cap! <laughs> That's just kind of funny. Alright, what's in here? We got some... I don't, don't even know where this house is. What the fuck? So you're worthless. Uh... Where does this go? Nice fairy cave. You go to another house that I can't say I recognize. So that was worthless. I can't lift that up to see. Um. I guess I'm gonna try to fake flippers to Hobo and then Zora. Unless I die before I even get there. Oops. Hey! Got it in two! Which is very surprising because I've only done that trick like once before. I'll see what the pyramid island is to the item is on the floating island or whatever. I'm gonna go back. Actually, oh, I can't go back. Ah, I don't know how to do it out of here. Never mind. Shit. I guess I'm just gonna get this item and save and quit. Uh, so I got Hobo. Hobo gave me shit. Like, I, d I know there's a way to do it, to get out of here. But I don't know how to do it. Like, I've seen people do it where they do fa fake flippers out of here. But I don't know how it how you do it. Like, that, that's the one thing. I don't know how they did that, so. What's up, Cockiniz? Zinkar, Zimfar, Zimgar. Man, you're drunk. Go home. Zindar. Yeah, yeah, there you got it. Alright, I guess I'll go back and fill fake flippers to Zoro. Just because, or Zora. Jinbar. Like, <laughs> I'm not serving people gin, so... Oh, Alright. So let's go do fake flippers again, and then this time I will go to what you call it, Zora. God damn it! Get away from me! Hey!
what is this item? Uh, rupees, completely non-critical. So, I'm gonna just go get Zora's stuff. And not worry about the cavern there at the moment. So, floating island is not worth it. Yeah, he wasn't. This is a ROM hack. So, you know. Oh, there's a sword! God damn it. I wish I had the ability to get there. Come on, Zora. Actually, give, be nice. Give me an item. Don't, don't just try to teach me a lesson like you always do. So I've got Zora's item. Uh, yeah, okay. That was worthless. Oh. Well, at least I know where two swords are. So as soon as I get the mirror or the flippers, I can get a sword. I just gotta find one of those two items first. Alright, so there's still two more entrances over here I haven't been into. <clears throat> and then, like, once these are exhausted, I have no clue where I need to go or how to get there. Uh, this was just Money Cave, so you're worthless. Oh, I didn't get the, uh... I completely forgot to get the Swamp Item. I'll have to see if, I, if that's still drained. And if not, I'll have to go back and redrain it. Because that could be something I need. Who knows? I have so few items at the moment. This goes to the shooting gallery. So, yeah. If I really needed more rupees, I could do that, but I don't. Um, Alright, so let's go back to the dam, see if it's drained. If not, I will have to go drain it again. Because I'm very quickly running out of places to go and items to get without just going into dungeons. And as random as that's been... So at least we'll know if it's if save and quit resets this now. I completely forgot to check it. Boop -doo. Uh. Oh, it still keeps a drain, so. Alright. So bomb capacity. Not terrible to have. Certainly not needed. I mean, I love getting all the capacity upgrades I can, but at the same time, I would rather a useful item first. So where does this go? I didn't go over to here. Um, I can enter Desert Palace now, so I can actually see where that goes, too. Um, you go... Ooh, flippers! All right. So, yeah, I'm going to get the sword. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to get the sword. I don't care about the palace. I don't care about anything else. I'm going to go get the fucking sword so I can have something to hit. I mean, the hammer works, but it's not the sword. Like, the, the hammer is still short range and hard to use well. At least for me. But now I don't have to go all the way to Fake Flipper. I can just go right here as soon as I get there. 
So now I know where another upgrade is. So when I get what you call it, I can easily. Actually, while I'm up here, I can check the fairy cave too. Then, since it's easy to do, um, because it should be, yeah. And that, oh, that gives me um another sword. All right, all right, I'm fine with this. <laughs> What's up, Ritz Blues? Yeah. I finally have a sword. So I went from no sword to master sword. Not complaining. So, yeah, Ritz, that dream I was telling you about, this is kind of it. Because, like, every time, <laughs> for for at least anything that's considered, like, a dungeon or cave dungeon type deal, where you enter and when you exit, they go to different places. So, it's kind of like, oh, um, yeah... All right, so I got that item. So I got you. So I didn't go in here. Let's what's up here? You're just a fairy cave, so I can mark you off. So I guess I'm gonna go back to Eastern Palace. Um, I could probably finish Blind's Dungeon now too, very easily. Oh yeah, I gotta go all the way around or whatever. Bombs, yes. Alright, so let's go see what's in Eastern Palace, or where Eastern Palace takes us. Or not Eastern Palace, Desert Palace. Actually, I should know that. I've already been in here. I just don't remember where it took me. So going in here takes me to... Was it the cave? No, it was... Yeah, it's the race. So this goes into that room. I know I left race game left. I don't remember where this goes. Race game right leaves me over to here. Right. Did I go in here? Where does this go? This takes me to Skull Woods. Alright. So, front entrance takes me to Skull Woods entrance. Um. I don't even know if there's anything more I can do in here. 
Like... Because if I remember correctly, this is that room. Yeah. Don't have the big key. So yeah, I can't even do anything in here because of how it's segmented is. And now I'm up here again. Um All right. So, I don't remember where these went. Twin Cave right went to here. Just out of getting this shop is kind of worthless. I forget where this exit's at though. Like the the tracker I have is not meant for this, so I can't really keep track of where everything leaves. And it leaves down here, okay. But going in here goes to Palace of Darkness. Now I have the hammer now. I still don't have a light source, but outside of getting to the end boss, I might be able to do more? Oh no, I don't have the bow and arrow. That's what that's what I'm missing. I can't do anything here. And now I'm back over here. Yeah. Alright. I really don't know where I need to go to go anywhere now. Like, there's very few places I haven't been that I can easily get to. That makes sense. My head hurts. At least I have swords now. Not just swords, I have a master sword. Like, I was able to upgrade to a master sword. So I know I was able to leave the Tower of Hera. I don't remember how, though. I didn't drop down here. I went in the cave, but I did not drop down here. Where does this take me? Skull Woods. But again, I need the back half of Skull Woods for me to be able to do anything. Like, I can go here, bomb it, you know, I can bomb this open to get to the chest, but I don't have the big key. So I can't do anything there. I also don't have boots or the what you call it, so I can't do anything to get anything. But Skull Woods also means I'm going to exit out at this different location again. Like, I'm not going to be back where I was. I'm going to be back over here. And... That's that game... No, I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm I'm just like um hey, doing things. Oh yeah, bumper cave. Boo, bumper cave. Well, where does the bumper cave go? Oh yeah, I'm here. I haven't been down to the old man, did I? I don't know if I went down here or not. Dark room, can't do anything. And now I'm back here. Yay! 
and I'm dead. Which is probably fine by me. I don't know where I was going anyway. <sighs> I'm I'm starting to have doubts of if I'm going to complete this or not. I mean, once I find a few certain items, it might not be that bad. But until I find, like, the mirror and the moon pearl, whether I, if I beat this or not is completely up in the air. Because once I get those items, I can get, you know, I can have a lot more freedom of exploration. And I can get another sword upgrade, too, which is going to be awesome. So I've not been up here to the magic shop, so let's see where that goes. Magic shop goes to... Fairy Cave. I filled up my bottle. So yeah. Now I gotta figure out where I can and can't go based off of the Death Mountain warps of dungeons and where those go and where they exit and I can't remember it all and this is terrible. What have I done to myself? I think I'm just gonna have to get out a piece of paper soon and just start writing all this down. I went to a dark cave. This comes out and Spectacle Rock. I don't have the mirror. But if I go in Spectacle Rock, where did that go? <gasps> Ooh, this is where I wanted to be. This is where I need to be. The back half of Skullwoods. So going into Spectacle Rock goes into the boss part of Skullwoods. <laughs> Whether or not I'm going to be able to kill this boss is up in the air. I have no clue what the situation is on crystals and gems outside of the light world dungeons. Due to... I forget how much those things take to kill. Compass. Worthless. Um, I don't have a key. God damn it. I can't get through this. I'm missing a key. So I can't do anything here. Well, that was pointless. Alright, so this comes out where? Oh, hey! This is cool. I like this. I can get over to Tower of Hera again, which means I can get that um, tablet item next to it. So that's that's fine with me. I have no problem with this. That's another item. It's probably worthless because, well, you know. God damn you. Get off the bridge. There we go. Back eached. Alright, so what is this? Ether tablet gives me... Ooh, the hook shot! That's nice. Alright, alright. We're getting in there now. It's coming together a little better. Got my hook shot. Um, still not sure what I can do up here though, but... I have flippers in the hook shot, which means if I can find... I can go to what you call it, uh, Swamp Palace now. And beat that. So that should be nice. Let's see what's up here on this island for future heart piece. Not so worried about it. Alright, where was Swamp Palace? Swamp Palace was from Kakariko Village over there. Oi. Alright, so where does this go then? So I go in here. And that went to... So going in here, went to here? 
race right? Yeah. So coming out of race, or er, coming out of old man goes there. What goes? What going in here goes where? Second half of desert palace. Do you need the big key to get through this? Because I haven't gotten anything from this palace. I, I don't recall if this. La I don't think it is because I think it's just you reveal it, but it might it might be a key door afterwards. I don't know. I do not remember. Whoops. No, oh, yeah, it is the key door after this, so I'd need the big key. Yeah, I don't have it. Alright, well that was pointless. I don't even remember what cave I went in just then. Oh wait, no, yeah, it was uh right above here, wasn't it? Death Mountain Exit goes to here. So I have to remember to be able to get back to Death Mountain Exit to go come kill this boss again. Like, but I don't... I, 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 oh, Jesus. As time grows, my head hurts more. Alright, so leaving here brings me here. I'm pretty sure going in here, I've been... Whoops, I didn't mean to go in, but yeah. Okay, so this is the top half of... Um, is it Paradox Cave? This is the Light World one? I think so. I don't... See, that's my problem with this. Is I, I always forget all these smaller caves. It's like, I know where to go in the normal game to get items and whatnot, but I don't always remember exactly... Yeah, yeah, so I can go get these items now. So that's a nice find. I still couldn't even tell you which cave I went into just there, but whatever. Bombs and... Ether. I wanted to say Quake, but I knew that wasn't right. Money, 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 money. Wow, that was completely terrible. I could try to bomb jump, bomb jump across that if I really wanted to, but I'm not that worried. So coming out of here takes me where again? Down here. And going in here... House Darkness, I still don't have the bow and arrow, can't do anything. And now I'm back in Kakariko Town. So let's go to Swamp Palace. Now that I know how to get there. <laughs> And I have the flippers and the hook shot. So if I'm correct, Swamp Palace was... Yeah, left side here. Alright, so now I can do Swamp Palace. Six items in here. Hopefully, I'll get something, and I have everything I need to complete it, so I don't have to worry. Well, first item's a dud. 
click off. This chest. <laughs> oh, the big key. I get bombs. Of all the things, more bombs. Um, yes, down first. I always forget that. I mean, I could have gone up first and done it slightly quicker, lowering the what you call it. But I had one playthrough where I flooded this without getting the key, and I was just like, "God damn it!" It sucked. I mean, you can recover from it, but like you have to save and quit. I think. Which means coming all the way back to it and then getting there again, and it's just like, oh, well, damn. Having boots would be kind of nice. Hell, even having more hearts would be kind of nice right now. Like, usually it gives me a decent amount of hearts early on, but nope. All that dodging, still got hit. What do we get? What do we get? Heart piece. All right, not too bad. So another item gone. And the bow. I'm not complaining about the bow. Especially means now I can go finish Palace of Darkness, or at least do more in it, not necessarily finish. I don't know if I can get through all the dark spots in there. Especially since one is the, the, the turtle enemies you have to hammer and kill to get through the door. I don't know if I can do that blind. In fact, I'm, I, I would guarantee I can't do that blind, especially with as little life as I have. It just, it, it don't work. It, it, it just don't work. Some things just don't work, and that's one of them. Just hope I don't die to the boss, because that'd be terrible. But usually the boss isn't too bad, so. Hookshot dodge. 
Didn't even mean to, but it happened. Ooh, the cane. I like that. And burrito. So there's still the compass. So either the boss has the item or it's in this next room. boss has the item. I mean, I don't know if the boss has a pendant or a, uh, what you call it, either. So. Um, I like the fact that I have the bo Actually, I have a nice sword, too, so. That's not too bad. So, boss. Um. I'm just gonna have to take it slow and easy. I say that as I let the boss run into me. There we go. Boss is defeated. He gives me the last item. Um, it is a pendant. I just don't know which one. Actually, I know it's not five or six because they're in the light world. So, it is a pendant. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, so... That's finished. I'm back here. This goes into here again. So I came out here once. Where did this go? I don't remember. Oh yeah, back up here. So going in there... Is the desert palace back. So I need to remember that. I could do... Um, I could try to do Aghanim. I mean, I, that would give me Dark World access, which I don't have. Well, I don't have the Mirror or the Moon Pearl. So it's not that good, but it would open up that tree right there. Where did Aghanim go? That was way down there. I don't know how to get there. Oh, I don't remember how to get there. I really don't know where to go. Where did you drop to? You dropped to Skullwood's first part. Um. Actually, I don't know if I ever went in the main castle entrance of Hyrule or not. I think I tried to. But I didn't mark where it went, so either it went to a cave I wasn't sure of, or I didn't do it. So let's go try that real quick, just because fuck all else. I mean, I got fuck all else to do, because I don't know where to go. I can only keep wandering around in the state lost for so long. I've completed two dungeons. I've cleared out a third, but I've not killed the boss. Oh, I have bow and arrow now. I can go kill the boss. I gotta figure out how to get back there, though. 
Actually, I never went to this drop either. Because this guy was blocking my path, and I said, fuck it, and I went somewhere else. So this drop goes to there. Okay. So that drop goes to that place. More arrows, never a bad thing. Oh, um, and now I'm back up here again. And now, oh, I can finish this. Because I have the hammer, which means I can get the last item. I also have an actual sword. I also have the cane, which is probably the biggest bonus for me. And I'm losing where I need to go in this map already again. Because I gotta say, the, the cane makes the boss fight um, fairly nice. As I'm dying on the way there, though. Finish this out. This isn't a terribly hard dungeon, as long as you don't get hit. Like that. They did not want to let me through. Hey, I have a sword doing this room. I haven't had a sword doing this room in like four runs. I've had to use the hammer on these. It's annoying. Alright, so... That's done. Don't you shoot me. It's not nice to shoot people. Oh, I don't have the glove, so I can't power through this. It's actually, wait. I can't do this. Can I? Okay, yeah, I can. It's just annoying. I don't have the key, so... I just can't go through that place going up. Apparently stunning things with the hook shot and killing them gives you bombs. Seems to be a universal fact. Alright, so you're a key. Come with me, bitch. Um, I can go get the large chest item, and then blind will also drop an item if I'm have my maths correct on the items, because there's still two to collect in here. A rupee is one item. Hooray! I gotta go this way. 
because I don't have the stupid glove to let me go up. Uh, I'm trying to not to die to these things since life is so limited and blind is not an easy fight. Well, I say that. It, it, it can go wrong. <laughs> Hopefully it won't. With only six hearts, I could probably end up dying very quickly and easily. See, I'm already down to two hits. One hit! I can't take another hit, and I die, and... Yeah, I'm dead. Hi. Oh. I wonder if B strats would work. I might try B strats. Alright, so apparently B strat. God damn it. So B strats don't work. Yeah, alright. Oh. Now I'm out of mana as well. So yeah, B strats don't work at all. It just makes things harder. Where's mana? Where's mana? I need mana. Give me mana. Drop mana. I let it one up. Mm, you're not man, are you? Nope. There's no mana anywhere. Why is there no mana? Rupees? Are you mana? Please be mana. Nope. You don't need mana in this fortress, so they say, screw you, you don't get mana. Alright, um... 
think it's time to go to somewhere else and come back another day. I hate doing that, but at the same time, I don't know what else choice I have. I don't think I can be blind in this condition. Not without a potion or something. It just happens. So... <gasps> Anna! Alright, I guess I'll go try blind. I'm full health and mana, so... No excuse. Alright. So B-strats are, uh, fucking terrible! <laughs> One of the worst ideas I've had. If I had the shield to block these shots, it might not be so bad, but... Gotcha! Alright, blind is dead. Whew! And rupees! Even with this logic, and it's another crystal. Which is not bad, but even with this whole dungeon logic, bosses are dropping rupees. <laughs> Man. Alright, well at least that's done. Still can't go through there. Um... I... I don't really want to try to do escape without the lantern. Did I go over here? I did. This went to... something useless. Where did this go? Oh yeah, this went to a uh, spectacle cave, didn't it? Eastern Palace went to spectacle rock item peak. I forget how this connects. This drops to that bridge, right? Ooh, fairies. Leads to this place, which led to somewhere. It'd be so much nicer if I had the lantern. I could explore these dark rooms that I keep coming across. So that exit's here. Going in here goes to race game right. I don't know where race game right left to though. Goes out here. Going out there is part of Skull Woods. Like, I'm really at a loss of where I can go now.
Just because it teleports around so weird and where randomly. Oh! Wait. What? Let's see if if that's correct. That might have to be my next place to go. If this is Misery Mire. Yeah. God damn it, I hate this place. But I, I don't know where else I can go, and this is a place I can go, so I think this is a place I need to go a little bit. That hook shot dodging. Get better at it. I really do hate this dungeon. Like, I couldn't even tell you how to get through it. I I just gotta fumble around or use a map. And I know I've already gone the way I don't need to go. I just don't know where I need to go. I need to go right up here, I think. Yeah. This is a chest up this way, most likely a key. Oh, it is a compass, even worse. I think next time I get real froggy about the randomizer, I might just try like key sanity or something. That seems like it's not as tough. Big key. That's kind of nice. Um, I forget what's down here. This is the. Oh wait, yeah, this is that. I can't do anything here yet. Um. Oh shit. I think I can make this, but part of this later on was a dark room that requires the red cane, and there's no fucking way I can do that. So I know I can't beat this dungeon. Doesn't mean I can't get a few treasure chests and hopefully an item out of one of them. Can't forget that key. Now I can go down, back to here. That opens up areas for me to go to, like up here, and get a treasure chest here, which is a key, which is expected. Um, to the right is the big chest. Uh, doesn't want to. Doesn't this guy have a key? Yeah. And then this is a treasure chest as well. All right, there's one item out of the two, and it's completely worthless for me. Now going down here, I believe, ends up with going up, you light these torches, do I have enough mana? That would suck if I don't. I don't think I do. 
I don't. Motherfucker. So I can't do this. Maybe one of these will drop mana. Maybe I can just farm them. Don't they spawn in here too? I thought they spawned. Yeah. Give me magic. Give me magic. Nope, not bombs. Magic. I need the magic. Wow! One shot. God damn it, I have fairies. I need my magic. I need my magic. I need my magic. I need my magic. I need a lot more magic. I need a lot more magic. Well, these do seem to be infinite respawns, which means I can sit here for forever. And if I'm hearing this correct, and I'm correct, this is a pendant dungeon? I don't know, I'm not... I, I never paid attention enough to the music to be able to fully tell. <laughs> You'd think magical beings would drop more magic more often. Like, it just, it makes sense that way, doesn't it? But no, they drop bombs, they drop arrows, they drop money, but no magic. Even hearts. I can rip out their heart before I can get magic from them. Hey, magic. Bombs. <sighs> oh, such thrilling gameplay. Come on, give me the magic. You want the magic? Show me the magic. Show me the magic. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. There's some magic. If I were to edit videos, this would definitely be a fast forward thing for YouTube, but I don't edit vid videos, so I just don't have the time to do it. Because, like, I'd have to download it, and then edit it, and then re-upload it, and I just, I don't, I just don't want to do it. Oh my god! I don't need gems. I don't need your rupees. I need your hearts. I need your magic. Like, y you're trying to give it to me. You cast all the spells, which is just magic being sent my way. I just need it in a different form. I just need you to bottle it. And then let me have that. Do -do 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 -do. 
You can do it. Just give me a few more. So I'll ask a few more. I wonder. happened earlier than I thought it would. Alright, yeah, I'm not even going to try that anymore. I was like, maybe I can kill him with a bomb. Maybe it'll, like, alter the drops or something. Considering freezing people with a hookshot and then killing them tends to make them drop bombs, maybe using bombs will make them drop other things. Come on, they're not even dropping anything now. What the hell? Did I exhaust the drops? Alright, there we go. Magic! Hey! I'm gonna I'm wait. I don't know if that's enough. Like, I really don't know if that's enough or not. I wanna say it's not. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get full magic. So, you know, skip ahead another 30 seconds to a minute. Or whatever, if you're bored. God knows I am right now, just because doing this is not exactly fun, but I don't know what else to do. I mean, overall, I'm having fun. Just this one particular little instance of having to farm these enemies over and over for magic has not been all that fun. So I do not blame you if you skip the video. Of course, that means you don't get to listen to me ramble like this, but you know. I'm not exactly rambling about a whole lot. I'm just rambling because rambling because rambling because rambling. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. More magic. Alright, one more drop. One more drop. And I think I'm good. So close, you can taste it. Give it to me. Nope. What's first, thousand rupees or full magic? Place your bets now. I'm gonna go with thousand rupees.
course, watch, I get full magic, and then I'm just gonna fuck up the clip trick, and I'll waste it, and then I won't be able to do it anyway. Alright, come on, give me the items. You know you got them. I know you got some. Unguard wall. I will step. Oh, hey! I was wrong. I don't didn't get the thousand rupees. We got the magic needed. Oh shit! I guess maybe I just need to go downstairs and come back. Hopefully, they'll reset the bricks. You know, it'd be really bad is if one of those pots had a full magic thing under it, and I just didn't know. I'd be so pieced. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't take a whole lot. I mean, that took about half magic to do the four casts. So I didn't need full magic, but I didn't know how much it took. And I just knew I had some and I ran out. I didn't like that. Well, now I get to go down here. Hopefully it is the item. And not like a key. It is the item. Which means all I need to do is beat the boss here. I don't even know if I want to beat the boss. I don't know what the boss has. I can't get to the boss either. Because while I have the big key. I don't have the lantern. And I do not want to try to do the dark room of this dungeon without a lantern. I will go get the chest item just to make sure. It should probably be the burrito. I don't know if there's any spare keys I, I'm missing. But since it's just right here, I'll get it just in case so when I come back I can go right to the boss. Because there's still two there's still two dungeon items, so one of them is a key. Like, okay, so that's a burrito. This should be the key. Uh, of course, the key's probably for that door. Which means I wouldn't need it anyway. Alright, whatever. I'm done here. Uh, I don't want to save and quit, though. I just, I just want to keep going. I'm just going to exit the dungeon and see wherever the hell that takes me. And yet again, we have another dungeon I have cleared out of normal items. And I've got jack shit all for it. This seed hates me. So yeah, leaving Misery Mire takes me to where again? I think it's somewhere on Death Mountain again? Oh no, up here. Which is cool, because I wanted to try and see where this place went, because I forgot, and I don't know if I've actually been in here or not. So where does this go? Oh, this goes to race right. Or race left. So Hyrule main entrance goes to race game left. I don't know where this exited at. I don't remember. Over here. Okay. So going in Desert Palace East takes you to... Oh! Sweet! there. Eastern Palace. So I can finish Eastern Palace now, because I have the bow. I still don't have the, what you call it, the lantern. But I think I can get through that section. I think I can get through the darkroom sections. Although I might make a stop, pit stop to pick up another fairy up here, but that's easy enough. I 
Really should learn the trick to keep those from spawning all three or whatever. Dook, 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 dook. Believe that's all my bottles? Yeah. Whoa, well, bucko, no empty bottles. Alright. So, actually, I believe this first dark room has a torch. If I remember correctly, it's just to the left. Yeah. So, that helps. Well, you know, I say it helps, but. Ended up not killing anything. I don't know why I didn't just use the bow and arrow in the first place. Ooh, full magic! How lucky is that? Alright, now I think there's. I don't recall if there's another dark room or not. My memory is. bleh. I don't think there was. It's just this room, the cannonball room. Another room, the other guardian room. Got them quick kill strats. All right. So this is kind of cool because it'll give me the 5th and 6th crystal which opens up the bomb shop. But yet I can't get to the dark world to make, take advantage of it, so you know. Alright, so he did. Which, that one's Eastern Palace, so that's cleared out. Oh god. And so now I'm here. I don't know if I went to this entrance here. So this goes to Ice Palace. What the shit? So Death Mountain Interest goes to Ice Palace. God damn it. I really don't want to do this, but I really don't have any other choice. I mean, at least I do have the cane, so I don't have to worry about actually completing the palace the legit way. God damn it! Stupid ice. Oh, I got a heart for the first chest. That is not what I wanted. I want any useful item. I want the lantern. Give me the lamp. Because I fucking hate dark rooms. The lag. Those enemies always lag so badly. Whoops. God. Now, I know 
know you can do a bomb jump here to save a bit of time. I am not well versed enough in it at all, especially at four hit points. So, fuck that. That's what I say. Screw you, big spike. Alright, uh... No, 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 okay. So this goes down here. Killing these guys spawns a chest. I don't have the big key, so going to the left is worthless. room too but that wasn't so bad I got through that a lot better than I normally did there's the big key don't need to worry about you because you do nothing um, now I'm here don't need to go up myself to the spikes but I want to kill this douche there we go ooh full magic go up here go through this shit going left. I want to go up. I don't have the power glove. I can't do this. Motherfucker. Oh, this game. know where that place goes over there to the left. Let's find out. Oh, back here. And then that place goes up somewhere which is worthless. I think it's a fall trap to somewhere else. Yeah. Falls to here. I mean, the only thing I can really do at this point... Oh, shit. Like, the only thing I think I can really do at this point is go get the big chest. If I were able to do the bomb jump, I could maybe complete the dungeon? But then there's still the chance of leaving items... Oh, man. It's 
10 o'clock. I think I'm done. <laughs> like, this has been fun. This has been an interesting experience, but I think I'm tapping out. I think uh, this game has bested me. This mode has bested me. Um. Yeah. This has been a, a, a yeah. I'm gonna stick to normal randomizers for a while. Like I still don't, I don't know enough about the. I mean, maybe if I took it off the madness and just did normal, where everything comes back out where it went in, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. That that might not be so bad. Maybe next time I'll try that if I do this. But fuck this madness! Oh my god! And this isn't even the craziest one. Like, you can do other shit where, you, like, I think everything just goes anywhere with no rules and logic. Which means you can end up in, like, a dark world without shit to do things in the dark world. And, yeah. Um. Anyway. Well, I appreciate everyone for stopping by. Or watching and all that. Um. You know, as far as streaming habits, I still can't commit to any. It's just whatever happens happens <laughs> uh, so yeah yeah this is actually something middle the tracker you can scroll down like the the map tracker in the bottom left is actually just an HTML file opened in my browser and you can scroll down and ha it'll say like where things went and how they went so you can't quite read it just because of how it captured it and how I've placed it but like I could move it over a little so you can see cave by Eastern Palace's uses it goes to the bow game house and things like that and it also has its own item tracker above it but I couldn't it it just didn't look good so I used another tracker on top anyway um thanks for joining in everybody and Mr. Game Blind Race tomorrow night, the 15th. I will be streaming it. We will be racing with the group that we normally race with and whoever else joins us. So come on by, watch, have fun. I don't know. We got two games lined up. I don't know anything about them because I didn't pick, but I just know it's two games, two hour race. So see y'all then. <laughs>